Hey gang, welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited about today's video. We're actually making the first in the series of videos to get prepared for the big day. I'm making game day queso. Let's get at it. We're gonna start off with the tomato trinity and the holy pepper trinity. Then we're gonna move on to our two types of liquid gold. It'll be a very common theme here. Um, our ground chuck, you're gonna wanna look for 20% uh, lean. We have 100% beef, obviously, 80% lean. 20% fat is what you're looking for. Mexican cheeses, your favorite taco chips or your dip chips, and of course, your Taco Bell seasoning. We're gonna actually go ahead and melt our butter over medium heat, and we're gonna go ahead and get these peppers all nice and tenderized. Hey, get that out of there, you don't need that, come on now. We're gonna use about half of the tomato trinity, so use your freshly washed hands and scoop about half of that off of there. We're gonna save the rest for what? For garnish. Who doesn't love a little garnish? I love a little garnish, why? Because it's flavorful. <laughs> Go ahead and get that butter well incorporated with the peppers and your, uh, your onions or your pico and let them become nice and tender. We're gonna take our boxes of Velveeta cheese here, or AKA liquid gold, because it's the perfect cheese to use for any kind of dip. Um, I use the original, and I also use the Mexican, because it has the chipotles and peppers and things infused in it. Oh, look, our beautiful pan has uh, developed some fond on the bottom of that, so we're gonna add in our beef, because we love the meat. We love the meat! <laughs> Well, I do. Anyway, uh, we're gonna add in our taco seasoning, just one of the two packs for right now, and we're gonna break this up and incorporate it and really brown that meat really well. Get every little bit out of there. Come on. There we go. Get your spatula and get to work on your Dutch oven. You know, break up all that goodness really want the flavors to get to know one another. Got it, mix it up good and proper. Now we'll add in our second pack of taco seasoning because this queso is an absolute flavor bomb. Do you hear me? Look at that. It looks absolutely outstanding. Look, I can't even what? You're gonna save a little bit. Why? For later. For the garnish. <laughs> All right, now we'll go ahead and break up our liquid gold here. I gotta love that Velveeta. Slicing and dicing. Do, 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 do. Slicing and dicing. Do, 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 do. Gotta love the time lapse. All right, and here we go with our whole milk. You could use half and half here if you choose to. Um, eventually I'm gonna use the entire uh, quart of milk here, but I'm gonna start off a little bit at a time and then build in our cheesy goodness. Our bag of Mexican shredded cheese. Give that a nice stir. We're gonna let that cheese begin to melt down and incorporate with our seasoned protein. Do, 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 do. <laughs> Man, what I wouldn't give for a cold beer right about now. You know, it's game day, so why not? Gotta get your stir on. <laughs> you gotta eat. And you can see here the beginnings of a beautiful queso coming together. We're gonna dump in this first that of gold goodness and half of the other. And the tedious process, reduce your heat to low at this point in time because you don't want your uh, queso to burn and you're gonna take its time to slowly add in some more milk and to slowly stir around and get it incorporated until you have a beautiful consistency. The dip is just about done. Um, we're just waiting for everything to incorporate and then we will get to the fun stuff. You'll see the colors start to intensify as uh, the best of the Velveeta. Oh, hey, look, I had some more cheese left over. I'm making queso, so why not use more cheese? You know what I'm saying? 
<laughs> if you're new to the channel or you found this video beneficial to you at all, please hit the subscription button. Subscribe and like. Turn on your post notifications so you won't miss a single video. And if you've been rocking with the channel for a while, thank you so, so much for supporting. I appreciate you liking and commenting and sharing some of the videos. I see all of you. Um, I appreciate all of you. Every time you watch this video, every time you like this channel or a video, it truly helps me out. And we are done. Look at this, y'all. Look, I could sit here and go to work on this whole Dutch oven. Oh, not done. I lied. Seasoning, a little adobo, because you know, it's wonderful. And then a little that arrange. We have to have our Cajun Creole kick for this dish. I don't know why it works very well, but it does. It just enhances that last little bit of defense. Um, I don't know why I just said that, but it sounds good. We'll work with it. That liquid gold, y'all. It's done. Now for the plating, because the plating is the best part for me. Whew. Lord, look at that there. Scoop it up, scoop it up, scoop up all that goodness. It's never too much, never too much, never too much. Look at that. Now we're gonna go ahead and use our uh, plate here. We're gonna build up our little dip. We've got our dip chips. You can find them in your local grocery store for $2, but like I say here on my, on my lower thirds, any will work. Doritos, Fritos, Scoops, uh, Tostitos, Sun Chips, Ruffles. Don't sleep on Ruffles. Ruffles, Ruffles are just everything. I love them. They're delicious. <laughs> if you're trying to be a little healthier about things, wheat thins or Triscuits, if that's what you're about in that life. But you know, it doesn't really go with this dish, but it's an option. You like it, I love it. I don't judge. Now for all of our saving for our garnish, because we got to make it pretty. Take your lap of that seasoned meat. Bloop. Put it on all that goodness. Oh my God, it was everything I had to do not to get in here and eat this right now. Take our pico de gallo. And I like spicy things, so of course, you know, I had to go for the jalapeno. Gotta make it spicy on them. And we are ready to go. Look at that, guys. Hey, everybody. So here we are with the finished results. Like, my game day queso, like literally, you can see that. Look at that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Ooh. Yeah. So like I said, I'm gonna be releasing an entire playlist of game day classics and some of my favorites, but I know we really came here for that reaction bite, so let's get in it and let's go and let's see what it's all about. And not for nothing, I love a one pot meal. Everything, just in that Dutch oven. Invest. Right for you. Get a little jalapeno on there for you. Give me like a spicy. There you go. Yes, 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 yes. Ten thousand times yes. Don't tell nobody. I'm gonna try it, diet. And this whole plate, I'm gonna try. <laughs> Don't worry, I'll work out after. Per usual, you already know, I can't even continue to speak, so I'll see you next week. <laughs>